I've arrived. Yep, I've got my timer going. And I just need to pick up a bit of plate that I've got sitting here. And today, if you like, I'm actually, it's, it's going to be very short in a way, because what I'm going to do, I've, once again, I've written it down, just so there's no mistake. And what I'm going to do is talk about the fact that you will not listen to me at all. If you're a Christian, you do. But if you're not a Christian, you don't listen. As a matter of fact, the whole world does not listen at all to God. Even God's own people, the Jews, God brought them into being. They didn't obey God at all. Never ever had. Maybe uh, a few years, but hardly ever really. And then finally, when God sent his son, the Jews then killed him. So they did not listen, God's people did not listen, the rest of the world definitely doesn't listen. And even today, the world does not listen. Now I'm not going to spend time to go over the basic things, because if you look at my videos, there are things that I've talked about, God, Jesus Christ, uh, we must repent, we need to come to Jesus. So all that's in the videos. But all I want to do today is talk about the fact that you don't listen. And there's a reason you don't listen. Because really, all this stuff, really, about God and Jesus and all that sort of stuff, you think this is rubbish. Now, some of you might say, oh, well, it could be true. Some of you do say that. And some of you say things like, oh, well, if there is something there, I don't have to worry about it, because when I die, if there is a God, they'll look after me anyhow. So there are lots of reasons that people uh, are not Christians and rationalise it away and assume things will be all right, which is fine. And what that means, say, for instance, you're not a Christian, the kingdom of God or God's kingdom is close. You're not in it, but you're close. But you're not going to listen anyway, are you? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that nearly frightening? You don't listen at all. Now, why don't you listen? That probably is the ultimate question. Why don't you listen? You know very well you're not going to be around shortly. You're going to be gone. And the Christian message really is that you don't have to worry about death anymore because through Jesus Christ, when you die, if you like, here, you will be with Jesus in heaven. What you're saying is, oh, come on, Andrew, come on, Andrew, I don't listen to this sort of stuff. <laughs> should I laugh? No, I should not. Because really, a reality is that people will not listen, you will not listen. Now, even though you look at the world, you believe, so many people believe in evolution. They believe that you came out of the ocean somehow, you going up getting legs and you evoluted if you like to where man is so man started I suppose in nowhere came out of the ocean became an ape if you like in the end and it evolved unto what man is today people believe that even though in the New Testament it tells you in the genea uh, the geology uh, not the geology the talking about that if you like the journey of mankind that started at Jesus Christ, Joseph, uh, there was Jesus Christ, and you go all the way back to Adam, it actually tells you there in Luke that uh, Adam, the first person, was a son of God. So he, so if you like, in, in uh, Genesis chapter 1, of course, in chapter 2, of course, we know how man came to be. Anyway, you don't believe any of that, any of it doesn't matter, does it? But why don't you listen? That is the big question. Well, I don't know whether you realise that the Bible is pretty complete. It deals with the Genesis creation and it also, Revelation, finishes with the end of the world, where God's kingdom becomes a reality. 
when everything is finished. Now we are told that everything that happens yesterday, today and tomorrow, it has all been completed before the foundation of the world. God is so great <laughs> that all of the world, the history of past, present and the future is already in place. So what does that mean? We can't discuss that, we're not going to. But we were asking about why you don't listen to what I say and why you don't listen to other ministers. To come to God, to come to Jesus Christ, have your sins forgiven, why, why, why? Well, there is a great truth that most people don't realize, that you can only come when God calls you and that call is made in so many different ways. You through your Bible, you could be reading it. A magazine, you could be reading about the Bible or something, an article. You could be listening to a minister. But somewhere, all of a sudden, while you're reading or listening, you say to yourself, good heavens, maybe this is true. But once you start that, then the Holy Spirit is starting to work in your heart. And finally, you become a Christian. I personally can remember many, many years ago where I actually remember when I thought to myself, maybe I'm not being able to become a Christian because I was never going to be called. And that is one of the great truths. Predestination, do you know what that is? You'll need to find out. What is election about? What is foreknowledge about? What about all these things that the Christian world talk about, about how God actually organises, if you like, history. You do not listen because the Holy Spirit has not spoken to your heart. That's why you don't listen. And you never will unless the Holy Spirit talks to your heart. You will not listen. You simply will not listen, I'm telling you. But people do listen every single day around the world. When the God's message is proclaimed, people hear it and they respond and come to Jesus Christ. Some people do listen. Millions of people listen. But most people don't listen. Look, I'm not going to say any more today. Like, this is seven minutes and I think that's enough. Listen to what I'm saying. Come to Jesus Christ. Come and have your sins forgiven. Confess your sins and go into the kingdom of God because you'll be happy. And it doesn't matter what your circumstances are, God will help you in this world and take you home. If you're a Christian, as I've always said, wherever you are in the church, be absolutely motivated. Be inspired, motivated, energized to do your work as a Christian worker somewhere. I will see you next time. We'll probably tidy this up a bit, won't we? Because that's eight minutes and that's all I really want to put in. I'll see you later.